Teacher Reacher once again. First, I would like to thank you guys for an overwhelming support that you've given me in my first video. From the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank you guys and appreciate it so much. Now, in this video, I am going to talk about expressionism art, its definition, its history, and who are the proponents of it. And later in the video, I'm going to show you a time-lapse painting. So I will actually do an expressionism art. Without further ado, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Let's go! What is expressionism art? Expressionism is an artistic style that focuses on the emotion that an object or event arouses within a person, rather than their objective reality. Look at this picture. It shows a flower's objective reality. It is how it is as you see it in person. Now look at this picture. It shows the artist's emotional or subjective view of a flower. That's how he feels a flower should appear in his painting. Whoa! That's creative! Now how do you achieve an expressionism art? It is through primitivism, distortion, exaggeration, and fantasy. Now let's talk about its history. Expressionism art was the leading artistic style in Germany in the years following World War I. It is believed to have started in 1905. On the other hand, German artists including some Austrian, French, and Russian ones who were active before World War I were said to be the proponents of Expressionism art. Its roots were associated to the works of Vincent van Gogh, Edvard Munch, and James Unser. Works of B. Brook artists, an association led by Ernst Ludwig Kinchner that aimed to revolt against what they saw as the superficial naturalism, stimulated expressionism in parts of Europe. Now let's see some famous expressionism works. This one is The Scream by Edvard Munch. This one is Blue Horse by Franz Marc and The Blue Rider by Wassily Kandinsky. Are you ready to create an expressionism art? Let's go! What were the materials I used? Of course, I used canvas, paint brushes, acrylic paint, and gesso. In my painting, I used gesso. What is gesso for? That is to add rich texture. So it's up to you if you're going to use it. But after you put it on your canvas, make sure that you dry it out. So if you can see, I am setting the background first. That background is supposedly light because later I will make it really colorful so that there will be some sort of contrast between colors. You know, one of the characteristics of Expressionism art is its vivid quality. So it has to be really lively. It has to really be colorful. Now I want you to try to look at the colors of the flowers. Well, those colors are not necessarily the colors of an actual flower, but those colors were what my emotion dictated. So you let your emotion dictate how your painting would look like. So that's how Expressionism art works. So Expressionism art does not focus on the real image. It doesn't have to be the reality. You just have to put on your subjective uh, perception towards a thing and continue working. Now here's my finished artwork. I hope you will like it guys.
Now, please comment down your answer to this question. Do you like Expressionism art? Explain your answer. I hope you learned something new today, guys. To God be the highest glory.